Oh, blimey, they're at it already. I'm surprised they didn't have a catalogue printed. <laughs> Here, that's mine. Hello, Albert. Oh, I thought it was George's. I shouldn't think he's got anything left, does he? <laughs> oh, no. We're still sticking to the rules. Nothing goes till he goes. The wages of sin is death. We're all doomed. Quite right, Uncle Nobby. He's off again. <laughs> Armageddon is upon us. Oh, God, turn it in, Nobby. Fill his glass, somebody. Oh, drink up. Yeah, Nobby, get outside. <laughs> good, good health. Good health. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hello, Albert. Hello, Arthur. That's a very sad occasion for us all. Yeah. Oh, I suppose we'll get over it. You know Harold? Yes, of course. Hello, Harold. Hello. Uncle Arthur. Yeah, the last time we met was uh, Frieda's interment, or uh, was it Bob's? I can't remember. I lose track. <laughs> Frieda was the last one. Yes, that's right. Frieda, yes. So Bob was the, uh, the typing. Yeah, well, I expect you can deal with the drink right the rest of us to help us get through the day. I'll have a brown ale. Scotch and ginger. Yeah, Elsie? Yes? Oh, actually, dear, a brown ale and a scotch and ginger, please. Brown and a scotch, right. You're in charge again, then, Arthur. Yeah, the family have asked me to look after all the arrangements. You've had plenty of practice, haven't you? <laughs> yes, yes, sadly. I should have thought you'd have been training somebody else up. Who's going to look after you when you go? <laughs> Let's hope that won't be too soon. Here you are. Scotch and ginger. That's yours. They are, Uncle Albert. Help yourself. And the sausage rolls is over there. <laughs> well, this is a very significant occasion today. Oh, yeah? Why is that, then? It's the first bleeding drink I've ever had on it. <laughs> had a look round. See anything you fancy? Me, for instance. <laughs> anything? Forget it, Dad. You don't stand a chance here. They're professional tomb robbers. <laughs> what do you reckon to the two oil paintings? Plumpens. The uh, Persian carpet. Belgian cotton. <laughs> if you're really interested, the only worthwhile thing here. Is that porcelain figurine on the mantelpiece? <laughs> that is a lovely piece. That's emojis, that is. 18th century. Put your bowler hat over it. <laughs> Opposition. Hello, uh, Harold, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. Definitely yeah. Arthur's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Sad occasion, isn't it? Yeah. Heartbreaking. Hello, Uncle Albert. Oh, hello. Have a good shafty round, have you? Me? No, no, I haven't. Well, the best thing is that porcelain <laughs> figurine on the mantelpiece. All right? Mm. Yeah, I will give it a house room. Woolies Repro. No, I wouldn't bother with that. That's 18th century. Look, mate, I know what I'm talking about. I'm in the business. So am I. I've got a storm on Port Bella Road. You were window cleaning last time I heard. Yeah. Well, there's no guilt in that, is it? The mosaic, that is. Second call there. 18th century. See? I told you you should have put your hat over it. He'll have it away now. That's that half a Nagus on his program. <laughs> The whole bleeding country's experts now. <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink. Hello, Albert. Oh, hello, Minnie. He didn't suffer, you know. Didn't he? No, went out like a light. Went the way he wanted to with his boots on. I don't expect he's got them now. Well, he was 93, you can't complain. I suppose you'll be the next to go, Albert. Now, that's not funny, Minnie. I've years to go yet. Got your eyes on anything? Mind your own business. Only thing worth having is that porcelain figurine on the mantelpiece. <laughs> All right, drink up, everybody. The hearse has arrived. Oh. Uh, Elsie, dear, could you clear these uh, glasses and bottles yes, off of the uh, Uncle George? Let right. me get on the move. Right. Uh, men, 
Could you give him a quick rub over with the mansion house, please? <laughs> Could I have the four Paul bearers? Uh, the four godchildren, I think. That would be nice. He always yes. enjoyed the company of young people. Yes, now, come on, lads. Let's have you up nice and gentle, eh? Yeah, that's right, up. Steady we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, me. All turn the same way. Now, back up. Back up. A bit more. Bit more, and a bit more. Come on now. Come on. Back up. Look this way. Which way? Back up. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy, and don't drop him. Oh, cold chap. You was bleeding while going off without me, wasn't you? No, I can do it. We were not going without you. Yes, you bleeding while was. No, we were not, Ada. And this is a funeral, and we don't want any swearing. Call that. Bleating and swearing. Wait till I get to the cemetery. Okay, dear. Look, dear, we don't want any scenes this time. Well, if she's going, see, she's got her knickers on. <laughs> you mind your own business. I've got me drawers on, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> they don't come off as often as yours. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do I mean? You had a lovely bleeding war, didn't you? All them Canadians! Oh, 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 Made my day, he says. Jeffrey, go and get the police. What about the will? Have they nicked that too? No, I've got the will. Oh, thank God oh, for that. Perhaps we'll still get something oh, then. Good help. Tell us, how much has he left? Yeah, come on, help me. Help me. Don't know it. You don't want to stay for this, dear. Come on, let's oh, get out of it. Stop him, mate. I want that 25 quid he borrowed off me. Here we are, the last will and testament of George Nightingale Steptoe. Yeah, come on. I, George Nightingale Steptoe, yeah, being yeah. of sound. Body and mind. Crawley do... must have written that in 1928. <laughs> <laughs> do, do hereby make my last will and testament to the Steptoe family. Yeah, yes. If everything has gone to plan, you are now standing in an empty house. <laughs> you are no doubt wondering where everything has gone. Well, I've sold it. Mm -hmm. I arranged for it to be collected whilst you were at the funeral. So that none of your greedy... F <laughs> so, so and so's uh, could get your thieving hands on it. The money I got for it, along with the rest of my estate, amounted to fifteen hundred and twenty-seven pounds. Oh, yeah. I divide equally between yes. the RSPCA and the Battersea Dog Zone. <laughs> you will find a tray of drinks already poured out to help you get over the shock. Good luck, and see you all soon. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, please, on this very solemn occasion, I would like to propose a toast. I ask you all to charge your glasses and drink to the health of George Nightingale, the only step to I ever knew with a sense of humour. <laughs> I wouldn't touch it after all I'd done for him. No, would I? He was always a bleeding vindictive. Old stinker. Yeah. I've never been so insulted in all my life. I'm not staying in this house another minute. No. Well, nobody's going to see me at the graveside, I'm telling you. you think oh, you do this to me and I look oh, after like a dog. Oh, when I think of all the money I wasted going round with a bus to see him. No, oh, I never expected oh. anything for myself, but I thought he'd have left his granddaughter. Wages of Sydney step. Oh. I will do that and follow the Ooh, Good health. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was worth coming for, that was. You're not upset, are you? No. I expected him to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a drink to him? Yeah. Why not? Put it to waste, eh? Uncle George? George, 
Oh, come on, show a bit of respect, take your help. <laughs> <laughs>